In this video, we are going to cover the advanced features of the Enigma M4 console. Let's begin with showing you some of the other ways of using Locate. The first is the ability to locate the fixture without adjusting the pan and tilt values. This is helpful when you are trying to find a fixture in a group of similar looking fixtures. For this example, we will bring up our playback and select our Hypno group. Then press Locate and then select the without pan and tilt option. This lights up your fixtures nice and bright without changing the position. Now use the arrows to figure out which fixture is out of place and press find to light them all back up again. Now you can choose the fixture that is out of place, make your adjustment, and save it into your queue using changed attributes, and merge, which will not record any of the changes that locate made to your fixture. To take a group of attributes back to their default locate value, hold down locate and then press the attribute you wish to return back to defaults. For example, when we will press locate and then press pan and tilt, you will see that they go right back to their default values of 127 and 127. Up until this point, we have left the live show window in its default arrangement, but by double tapping and holding on any of the buttons at the top of the select section, and while holding, tap at the top of a window, you can reassign it to the view. When managing the console settings, we have the following options. Playback, Go Plus, Go Minus, when this option is gray, the bump buttons at the bottom of the faders will no longer advance through your cues. Most users will find it necessary to keep this enabled at all times. Quick Palette. When disabled, this requires fixtures to be selected before you can select a preset. When enabled, you can recall all the information in a preset just by pressing on it. Skip Macro Show Start Time is used when you want to skip over the first time slot in macro shows. Keep the brightness when enabled will keep your fixtures illuminated when using the arrow keys to switch between them. The default for this option is disabled. Blackout key for flash is used as a bump button instead of a blackout button when the master is at zero. Page for touchscreen. When disabled, your page up and down button for the select section will no longer keep the page on the touchscreen in sync with the page on the select section. Finally, we have the network setup. This is where you will set up the console for ArtNet. Start by entering your IP address, NetMask, and Gateway, which will be the same as your IP address for most users. For troubleshooting, statistics are at the top of this window. Next, Switch to the Network Protocols tab and enable your DMX512 